You hear me talk a lot about addiction, and there's more addiction out there than just drugs and alcohol. There are other things that uh, that cause addiction and addiction-type behaviors that are unhealthy and can actually lead you to death. Sometimes food can be an addiction. So can things such as prostitution and sex, which is why I am so adamant on exposing addiction and the the um, problems that go along with it. Because you've got people out here, not just with drugs and alcohol, but also with gambling, sex, um, uh, picking up prostitutes and doing other types of behavior that's harmful to them, not just financially, but to their health, that don't get exposed. And it's time we start um, putting these topics on the table so we can promote ways and brainstorm ways in order to get treatment for these people. We've neglected our mental health care system for so long. These are topics that need to be addressed. And because we're not addressing them, it's causing the uh, flows within our system that create movements like the Me Too movement. Um, getting, And we need to promote that so that we can do even more in order to combat these types of behavior. It's not an easy road, but we have to make serious changes. We have to dedicate ourselves and be consistent to those changes in order to get the change that all of us desire in our community. I love exposing this type of thing because it is where we need it most. And I, I welcome anybody to join in trying to get these topics to the table so that we can change our attitude, not just in how we look at these types of behavior, but also in how we treat them so that we can be more successful because what we're doing is not working. And when you see it's not working on a large scale, that's a red flag that says it's time to change. And it's time to do it quickly so that we can save the mental health and stability of so many in our country. So for those of you who are suffering from these types of addiction, I want everybody to know that in spite of what you saw me and my family go through, it should be okay for you to go and ask for help. You're not supposed to be afraid to lose everything because you ask for a help with addiction. There's a lot of people out there who don't get help because of shame. And we need to squash that so that we can help each other overcome and heal from these bad behaviors so that we can make the long-term change that's needed and so much desired within our country and our system. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the Blair and the Brown.